this is Renee, and welcome to my own little world. I checked my mail, and suddenly there was a card from my very good friend Denny, and so I decided to write him a letter back. And、uh, we've been friends for about four or five years already, and he has made appearances on my channel. He has a YouTube himself. Dancing Dan, and he makes awesome K-pop content, and we go to K-pop concerts together most of the times. And when we do, we always sit in the car and we jam to his all the music he has on his phone. Basically, he always puts it on shuffle, and we just sit there and drive and get in the mood for our concerts. Basically, and we just jam and. Sing together <laughs> in broken Korean because neither one of us know Korean. So, <laughs> but we just jam to K-pop music, and so for the playlist that I decided to put together for his letter,、uh, I decided to go with a display of the car dashboard, basically where you also have a navigation, and I decided to incorporate that into the theme, basically because. I was looking back on the times that we could still、uh, sit in the car together and jam and go to K-pop concerts, and I really missed that. So I figured, why not make a playlist、um, that we could use once we can sit in the car together again and jam to music together again? Because that's what we usually do. And for the playlist, I went with songs that are pretty upbeat and pretty. Happy and go hard, basically, because we both like that kind of songs. He also really loves ballads, but these more upbeat songs are easier to <laughs> jam to and to sing to. And I made this construction where you can fold it out and see the playlist as a whole. And on the first page, I went with Stray Kids' "God's Menu" because he has been telling me that he loves that song and it might be his favorite song of 2020. And to stick with the whole on the road kind of theme, I made a card from an old map, and I decided to cut it into pieces. And I made words <laughs> that remind me of him and remind me of our friendship. I made them onto the map, and I cut it into pieces. So it's kind of like a puzzle, and that puzzle is kind of like a road to our friendship. <laughs> I'm trying to sound deep here, but I thought it would just look cute, basically. And for this letter, I also went with a lot of blue and grays. I know that blue is one of his favorite colors, so I decided to incorporate it into the letter. And I thought that gray is kind of a cool muted color, and it would just go well with the blue, basically.
And then I had a look for some photo cards of his biases. He really likes Young and Yoongi from BTS. So I decided to give him some of my photo cards. And I made a sticker sheet for him. And for the sticker sheet, I used an old one that I emptied out. And this way you can still use the stickers and they won't get stuck on a piece of paper completely. So you can still actually use them because they came from a normal sticker sheet. And then I went ahead and picked out some cool sticker flakes that I thought he would like. And after that I made some washi tape swatches and I used basically all of the kinds of blue washi tape that I have in my collection to go with the theme. And after that, it is time to write a letter. Um, I didn't really put a lot of effort into uh, making the letter look neat. It was just a quick note, basically. But I wanted to focus to be on the playlist and on the puzzle and the stationery that I gave him. Because we basically chat every day, so this was just an extra. And then it's time to decorate the envelope. And with the envelope, I also went with the same theme of the blue and the gray. And I kind of used the same stickers throughout the whole letter too. And then it's time to send it. I hope you liked this video, stay hydrated, stay tuned, and until my next video, bye!